personal and like kind of spicy and it was about like interpersonal relationships and friendships and relationships and then this one's very like businessy but i like it it gets spicier i'm excited let's keep listening it wasn't the only team this was like spicy. true for in terms of like uh they spicy. would hype up their teams every I team does this spicy. right but behind the scenes like every, <laughs> there were a lot of bad things that happened for all the teams like there's not a single team I can think of where like they did well. You're scared. It was just don't be scared. Problem after problem after problem after problem after it was the Wild West. Yeah, I've heard a lot of very bad instances from a lot of teams. Some things that I can't even Hello. say oh. because we know oh do you ever run into this situation where someone does something not so smart? Someone you know and normally you would flame the shit out of them on social media, but because your acquaintances or like mm. your friends who are friends with them, you mm. have to hold your tongue. Oh, all the time. Mm. How, all the, how time. does it feel? Cause like, <laughs> I, I, I should say, I don't hold my tongue. I just say, look, like this happened. I may not agree with it, but they're still my friends. You know, mm. stuff like that. Like, Do you I'm, say that? Yeah, I'm more than comfortable saying that. Mm. Um, but like, this is more recently. I think like earlier, like even as as early as like three years ago, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Mm. Just because I, I think at some point, like either you have to to <laughs> chat, oh. chat, please. That that memo. You, yeah, you know we're all we're all you know. Stop like limit yourself or mm. like <laughs> for other people. Or you don't, and you have to make that decision, right? Like mm -hmm. where the line is. For me, the line is like, if I fucking have to talk about it because it's a big deal, I'll talk about it, you know, and in the best way that I can, you know. I still will stand up for my friends when I can. I think they'll understand. Mm. Yeah, I see like people in our friend group go through, as content creators go through, you know, public things, and sometimes. I just imagine because I come from Hearthstone, right? Mm -hmm. But I ended up hating 90% of the Hearthstone oh, people. True. And I think it's weird that I don't really hate anyone in a friend group. <laughs> oh, wait, because why? I think if I was a League of Legends streamer, for example, there's a good chance <laughs> I, I would have hated hate you. I don't uh, hate any League people. Purely because you are a League of Legends streamer. Oh, but I because never hated you weren't, that, never. And like no one in our friend group are Hearthstone streamers, I was able to become friends with you guys. Mm. But then it becomes weird when like people would do things that I don't agree with. And if they were mm. Hearthstone streamers, I'd be on Twitter like Danny hates the people. shit out. Of them. I don't. I come from League as well. I literally like Scara, Danny, me, Janet, Pokey, Kimmy, Leslie. Every like so many people in our friend group all originated from League. Lily, Sakuno, like. Yvonne, everyone, like everyone originated for John, Jody, sorry, my brain, Celine, everybody is like, everybody is, uh, most people, I would say at least 95% of this friend group all came from League. Yeah, Albert, obviously, he still plays tons of League. Um, we were just the League generation. We really were. Um, yeah. But I feel like nobody hated each other, though. I that I definitely know there's a lot of people who played a lot of League, but we never hated each other. I think there are other, like, high... Okay, you know what it is? I think high ELO players hate high ELO players because they all have a lot of ego. <laughs> And a lot of them are toxic, but like the not so high elo people are all pretty nice Like everybody who was like diamond and below is pretty nice <laughs> Them but because oh, I know this person now I can't do that now um, I have to hold back. I Wonder how different my social circle Social life would be if I was free to just Flame the shit out of people when they do something wrong instead of saying, oh, wait, but I know this guy now. 
I have to <sighs> not. I'll just stay quiet because that's what I do right now. Hello. When someone does something that is not smart. Uh, pretty it's, early. When they have like a oopsie, minutes. a public oopsie, oopsie, I just don't say anything. Yeah. Public oopsie. Um, whereas other people might be free to say, "Hey, this is kind of weird. This is kind of cringe." But our friend group, it's almost. It's very frowned upon to be critical of each other mm. on social media. I think it's because how close we are that we understand, like, if you do have a problem with it, you should be done in private. Mm -hmm. Yes, this exactly. Okay, over the weekend, I was reading so many comments about people going like, okay excuse my front my excuse my french but a lot of people are like oh my god like xyz did something but like everybody else is like sucking their d and it doesn't matter whether it's right or it's wrong blah 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 and i'm just like bro it doesn't make any sense if we had a problem with anything we would take it up privately why would we do it in public for people to see like you think we're stupid or something like, we're not going to feed into the drama, Frogs. Obviously, if we had problems with something, we take it up with them in DMs. But, like, literally people are mad because they can't farm drama. And I'm sitting here going, like, God, you guys are stupid. All right, continuing. So, like, <laughs> I, yeah, I've been the way... I, I've learned that, like, you hold your tongue sometimes. Because, you know... Drama, also, Frogs. Like, I find that over time... I've most of the things that they did were, that were bad. No they've drama realized here, folks. Bad is no, subjective. No, no like, drama. Uh, maybe uh, the objectively bad ones or the poor decisions, like they understand. Like even if they still do it, or like over time, they're like, oh yeah, maybe that wasn't that great. Or at least they'll understand that, like why I don't think it's great. You know, and I think that like because over time wow. it all works out that way. Tying, you know, I just choose months. to believe in the people. You know, and I hold my tongue because I'm sure it all work. It all mm -hmm. ends up working out if it doesn't. I agree. Then I fucking talk to him I'm like, hey, I didn't like this. Mm -hmm. During a league career, did you, did you ever hate anyone? <laughs> I remember I strongly disliked, disliked Reginald. Oh. <laughs> GSM Reginald. Oh, he's spicy. A very, yeah, he's a very spicy. stubborn person, I'd say. Right? Yeah. Like, the thing is, I'm very stubborn too. Thank you, I think you, all, you also know that. Like, I'll change my opinion if, like, you wow. can force me Bye, to change guys, it using, using like, back. objective facts. But, like, I'm very stubborn up until that point mm. um, where I feel like he's also like a very stubborn person, but his opinion is always right. And so like, mm. I think that <laughs> just, we just clashed. I don't think I ever hated anyone, but I remember I just didn't like a lot of how he did stuff and he, but I couldn't like, he was very good. So I couldn't say shit or I should say, uh, my personal like opinion of him didn't matter when it came to like, because we ended up just fighting against each other on the rift a lot of times. Mm. Mm -hmm. But did you like dislike him because of like his business or like thinking style? Or was it more? I really want to hear your thoughts about the end part of the podcast, but I have to go to sleep. All right. Because Don't worry. I got you. The VODs are always up. We're both mid laners and there was some kind of rivalry on that front. I didn't dislike him because of the mid lane. I don't, I don't give a shit about that. Like, mm. If I ever lose to him, I'm always like, I wasn't good enough. Or like, he played really mm. well, you know? It's never just a shit thing like, fuck this guy, you know? <laughs> uh, I, don't get me wrong. Like, when I'm playing the game, I'm like, I'm fucking gonna destroy this guy. This guy's a piece of shit. Like, yeah. you gotta get yourself into the that, like, you hate him, but it's just the league for that mentality. Game. That's what I do. Like, I fucking hate this. I am way better than this guy. See? Like, And then, like, afterwards, like, okay, you know, he played pretty well. Like, man, this got me, got me today, you know? But um, yeah, I don't think I hate anyone. I think I'm just too logical to really, really hate someone. Mm. Like if you if you did me wrong, I won't even hate you. But if you did my friends or my family wrong, the only people I hate are my exes. <laughs> but I don't really hate them anymore. I, don't, I just don't think about them anymore. I did hate them though. I really did. You betcha I did not like them, man. I was just like, man, I swear to God, they're never going to find another girlfriend ever again in this world because there's no way anybody in the world can handle them. Just no way. All right. <laughs> That's the only time. I, I think I can only hate like one or two people. I've only hated like two people in the last 10 years, maybe three. And that's a real, like, that's and stretching it. Are any of them like content creators? Oh, spicy? 
Naming names? No. Scara? Uh, oh? Okay. Maybe one. Oh? Yeah, but you hate that person more because of what they did to your friends. Yes, or my family, mm. as opposed to me. But not to you. It's like, I don't. if you wrong me, you call me bad words. I don't give a shit, dude. It's like, I don't, if, I, I don't need to compare myself to them. Because mm. for me, like, at least for what I do, I'm very confident in that. Yeah, um, so you, you don't really, like, get in conflict with your competitors, huh? Because I'm, I'm the opposite. I hate my I competitors. Know. I know. Oh. <laughs> I know. Trust me. We've talked about that. I know. <laughs> I, think, um, I think I don't have that much of a competitive atmosphere. Are they, ever, are they going to mm-hmm. talk about their TFT be- era? Never mind. I'm not going to be spoiled. I'm just going to listen. But I'm getting impatient. I, I feel like they have to talk about their TFT era, no? When it comes to content <laughs> creation. So that's they were why once kind of like competitors. You do what you do. Dang it. But for me, like, I gave I'm getting up my impatient. competitive edge. Maybe uh, for most things, when I decided to to focus more on OTV, because like it just it shows in everything that I do. Like I don't push for like solo queue ladder rank. I don't look to grind games a lot by myself unless like necessary. I tried. I spent a lot of my time looking for like what would the group like. When mm. I, I uh, recently went to go like play something, play play a game, play test a game, and like I could tell that all my critique was based on new player experience and gameplay. And for me, it's like, I don't really care about new players. How is Scar and Inscription? I know I care because my friends watch care. And they would never play, pick up a game where the new player experience sucks. Mm-hmm. That's true. So, like, my interests That's have just changed true. so much. I think people, like, don't even remember that I used to be, like, a pro player. And I think my mindset back then was much different than it is now. Like, I wanted to be the best. If I couldn't mm. be the best then, it fucking, it sucked. Like, every day was just a... I wake Aww. up, if I'm playing bad, I was, there's periods of time where I was playing terribly. I literally wake up and be like, I'm fucking shit. Let's, oh, let's no. go. Like, it's practice. Like, we gotta just keep practicing, keep practicing, True. stuff like that. True, practice, practice. Um, I don't wake up that depressed anymore. Yay. I, like My, my quality no of gameplay on a daily basis doesn't affect oh, my mental mood go. anymore. Mm-hmm. But I think that losing that competitive drive is, mm. does have tangible downsides. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um... Yeah, a lot of new players don't really know about your past life, but I noticed that whenever we do go to Vegas, you probably get recognized probably the most out of everyone. True! A lot of people I recognize Scar. I think it's because the Vegas crowd is a little older, because I remember we went to a restaurant, and two of the chefs Scar- at that place Scar- recognized gets who you recognized were. Like, so oh my much. god, Scar from... Di- like I think he called himself a dignitas fan. Yeah, yeah. It's and a, wheeled out like so a platter many of seafood for you. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was funny. So nice. Um I think I've just been in the scene a long time. Like yeah. mm-hmm. I was player, coach, interviewer. True. He uh, has done a lot I of the different like roles. streamer, many YouTuber, different roles. Like uh I did casting in between that. Uh just for fun. Like, so I've done, like, almost, like, I've done, like, a lot of random jobs. I've done an- analysis work. I've done desk job. So I wow. used to be on LCS as well. Uh, so it's just, like, I've done but almost everything, everything. Po- I, that possible that I kind of wanted to. And after all of that, I was, like, I prefer to be a streamer. If I can't play ah. professionally, I want to stream. Mm-hmm. Um, and I did. That's and then now it's, like, well, I'm streaming professionally, but, like, what's the next thing, you know? And so I, I think right now... Mm. Because right now, if the game sucks, getting us. Thank you so much for the time. My stream sucks, or like I suck. Uh, I think my quality is dependent a lot about how I enjoy games, which is terrible. I shouldn't be able to make anything good if I'm good enough. So the big Mayhu, thank you for the four months. I wonder what the next step is. I'm kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. You're not really a big trash talker when it comes to (laughs) stuff, are you? No, dude. I feel like. I feel like I don't need to shit on you at a game to shit on you in game. Like, like <laughs> after the game, like I could, I'll, I'll just like, like it doesn't matter how much they shit talk me because I'm like, I know the people's opinion, the opinions of people I care about, and I know that like, I know when I'm better than them. Like it's just, mm. I have a Confidence. very strong opinion of like if I'm better or worse than someone at any game. Mm-hmm. Usually, I don't ever say to people. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> because I don't it's not cool to be like I'm definitely better than you at this game you know, it doesn't matter that you toast, beat toast begs to differ goes into bell this guy sucks I freaking destroy this kid 
This is why he's laughing so much. I feel like Toast can like replay all the moments in his mind of all the things that he's said to people. <laughs> Give me here, but I'm better. It's like, that's fucking cringe. That's Omega cringe. That's what I do all the time. <laughs> You make it funny though, you know. Uh, I think you need the, the for you. So funny. Your shit talking build is also how you build your confidence in yourself, and I think that that's something that is <laughs> good for you. I don't. I build confidence in different ways. In terms of like, I would say like I'm supremely confident in like type in certain types of like mm. ways I do content. But, and like, I don't need anything to stand for that. But in other ways where I do need to build confidence, I can't build it up like that, mm. which is a uh, bad thing, good thing. Yeah, I, f I feel like if you were to say something like, yeah, I'm better than you, it would be too factual. Yes. Oh, and the God, other person would it be would. Just offended, like, why are you being such a dick, bro? Yeah, like, oh, man. All right, we both play team fight tactics, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. here it is. Who do you is. think's the better player? Sheesh. Oh. And you can be honest. Without without any amount of time put in, I think you are fucking smarter. Oh. I think I need to put in a lot of time to reach uh, a certain amount of understanding that you naturally get when you the play. The tea. Yeah, I like the tea it bags, to, guys. You know take out the it's time. It's tea time. A stats where it's Kids, like it's acceleration and then top speed. Yes. Your top speed is higher than mine. Yeah, yeah. But my acceleration oh. is faster, oh, yeah, yeah. faster than yours. Because like at the beginning, when we play a new set, I always feel like I win more. But by like the first month's mark, I notice I definitely lose a lot more compared oh. to you. I, it's because I, it's all because I just, I watch so many streams. Like mm. if I care about TFT, like, You'll see me walking down the stairs. I'll have like someone stream on Soju stream Emily. I don't wow. doesn't matter. Watching TFT streams, watching TFT streams when I sleep, stuff like that. Like it's just something that happens over time. It was the same in League. I never was good because I was naturally good. I played. Mm. You put in the time. Hard I put work. in so much time. Um, like because people didn't know. Like I, <laughs> I, I. This is always the funniest stat. I spent like um, I played a hundred Oriana games one season off stream, uh, because. My Oriana was dog shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, I have to be a better Oriana player. And after all the 100 games, I got like okay with her, pulled her out of. I think this is like, it's always like kind of like that argument with people in life who are like talented versus like hardworking. And the funny thing is like, you can't be good at something only by being talented. You actually have to put in a decent amount of work. And it's like, it's more like the person who's talented or the person who's gifted in that field is they learn faster or it gets picked up faster. Like something there is faster. But the person who's hardworking will be able to learn the same amount of things just a little bit longer because they're willing to put in the time to learn it. So it is almost possible sometimes that the person who's harder working can become better than the person who's only talented but doesn't put in as much work. And I see this in many different fields. Like I remember, um, I remember this in like piano too. I remember like, because I come from a background of piano and I was always like kind of on the side where there was like a little bit more talent. So I picked up everything pretty quickly. And I remember like I we would like audition or like do something. And then I would like compare myself to my peers. And I, I'm thinking, wow, I'm pretty good compared to them. But then later on in the year, it's like I didn't practice as much versus them practicing a ton and they became a lot better than me. And it's like it's like one of those things where it's just like there's a lot of different things in life where you have to put in the time, the practice and the work to actually be good. Sheer talent doesn't get you very far. You see that in sports, too, like in so many different walks of life, just across the board, like only talent will not get you very far competitive game fucking sh was shit at her <laughs> and i felt so bad but i kept going back to play her because it's like you have to be able to conquer that you know at some point like or else like you'll just always be known as a person who can only play one or two champions so it's just something where it's like even though i never got to show that again it's something that i know i put time into and it just sucks that like it didn't kind of work out the way i wanted it to cool so speaking of riot games one of our most popular podcast clips is you and me shitting well not shitting discussing the difference <laughs> between 
Riot Shit. Games and Blizzard Entertainment. That was more just, than a just year stop ago. Stop the clip okay. right there. So that was our opinion. We you can probably like play a clip from back then. We got a lot of things to rant about when it comes to like. Oh my god, this is so. Like, working with Riot's <laughs> such a day and night difference. I had a Riot event and then I had a Blizzard event mm -hmm. back to back, right? Mm -hmm. And Riot paid me to go to an event. They also paid for like they gave me like five hundred dollars in Uber credits. And like to travel for the Blizzard event, they're like, "Fuck you, find your way here." I, had to I use remember Riot's this Uber budget that they <laughs> gave me, so I can travel I to a remember Blizzard this event. Clip. Like that's how, like, that's what happens when I guess a game company kind of just doesn't really care because oh, you know, you're a Hearthstone streamer, or like, yeah, yeah you know, we're giving too. you exposure, you get advanced access, you know, that's your reward mm -hmm. kind of deal. Just fosters a lot of resentment. Yeah. That was our opinion from more the than a year ago. And we, 